We'll now show the procedure for calibrating the Oasis. The beauty of the Oasis is its simplicity and ease of use, and calibration is no different. Go to File and Calibrate. These pins are included with the purchase of your Oasis. I'll start by creating a window around my one inch gauge pin, trying to get roughly the same amount of gray pixels on the top as I get on the bottom. I'll now click my Raw Plots button. We're looking for any high spots on the pin. We have a couple, but nothing that's very bad, and we will compensate for some of the, the minor spikes. The line is flattened, and we want to make sure that that line is between both the top and bottom line. I'll add the value, and in this case, we're looking at a one inch gauge pin. and I'll hit OK. We'll switch now and we'll put a quarter inch gauge pin on our block. Again I'll click Raw. I'm going to tighten my box up around this quarter inch pin. Again trying to get roughly the same amount of gray pixels on the top and bottom. We'll look for any high spikes. There are none but we'll compensate for that. We'll add value and again this is a quarter inch pin. We'll save the configuration, but important to not close out at this point. Now we'll use our straddle to orient the pins on the pedestal of the Oasis so we can calibrate in the Y axis. We'll change the size of our tool window. Again, trying to get an equal amount of gray pixels on both sides. We'll look at the raw button for any high spots. Compensate and add value. We'll go to our quarter inch pin next. Change the size of our tool window. Add value. Save configuration at this point, and now we can close out and the unit is calibrated.